thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you've been here before or you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I really, really do appreciate it. Yes. So please do well to like this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. If there's something you want to ask me, there's something you want to let me know, or there's something you want to tell me, just leave it in the comment section and I will definitely respond to it. Yes. Please, please, please share to your family and friends, your loved ones. Yes, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification button, the bell. Yeah. <laughs> so that whenever I post a video, you would see my new video to pop up. Yes, you would know that. Okay, yes, I have posted a new video. So um today I want to tell you guys about five important things you need to do once you get to Dublin, Ireland. Yes, these five things are very important. Yes, and I'm emphasizing on the fact that they're very important because actually they are. So the first thing is to get an Irish phone number. Yes. If you're coming in from Nigeria, your number might not function properly here. You might not be able to make calls like very well. And if at all you're going to make calls, it's going to be very expensive. You might not be able to access the internet except why and um, Wi-Fi and all. So once you get here, the first thing you should do is to get an Irish phone number. Yes, you have to get an Irish phone number because you might want to apply for the other things I'm still going to mention later in this video. And without an Irish phone number, it might not be possible because you need an Irish phone number to apply for some certain things that you would want to do here. And yes, for easy access and easy communication, you need an Irish phone number. That's the first thing you should do once you just get to Dublin, Ireland. Yes, and getting a phone number here is not very stressful. Just go into a shop or just act around and you'll be able to get a phone number here. Yeah, as long as you have a means of identification. So, yes, that's that. Then the second thing you should do is to get a lip card. You should apply for a lip card. Yes, so there is this card um, we use here called a lip card you can use it to access like dublin transport we have they have the um tram tram services here known as loas there's um the bus dublin bus the train and all so with your lip card it's a card where you load you put it's like you, you reload the card you load and reload the card like you put money inside here you don't pay cash for bus or trains like that under the um transport services of ireland you don't pay cash or anything or use your card here like your normal atm card or something you can't use it to like access the bus services here you have to either get a lip card and then you load your card with any amount you want to because here we may um, we mostly tap when you want to enter the tram service there's like um something that you like tap your card on and it deducts the fare from your card so you have to get a lip card it is very essential you get a lip card for um there are different types of lip card there is one for students there's one for young adults young adults are um are people that are age 24 and below they are young adults so they have a card but a, a specific card where um you just um load your card and there's like it's it's not as expensive as the normal adult lip card there's another one that's called the adult lip card that one if you're not a student or a young adult you have to get the adult lip card that one is green while the student phone has your name and your picture on it while the um adult lip card doesn't so that that you have to get a lip card for easy access before you i know you might want to get your car <laughs> and all later but before you do all that you need a lip card because um, the lip card is actually cheaper to use a lip card for your for the transport services here than buying like you can actually buy a daily card or a weekly card but then it's better if you have a lip card because you just load and anytime you're going out you just use your lip card you tap it and you go out so that's that me i'm a student so i have the student lip card another thing you have to um do or yes when you get to ireland is apply for your PPS number. Yes, there's a particular PPS number that is given to everybody that lives here, like every adult that lives here. That PPS number is your tax number. Yes, the PPS N is like a specific number for you. You have to like call the um revenue services and apply for it 
and they would give you a personal tax number that's your tax number that you, the number is very important you have to get your pps number you have to register for it when you get to ireland the fourth thing is your gnid yes you have to register with the immigration of ireland yes as is okay i came in as a student so i have to register as a student yeah so i i called you have to call them you have to call their office when you call their office they'll give you a particular date where you bring your documents they'll tell you everything you'll be needing like me i'm a student so i applied for a gnib gnib states how long you are allowed to stay in the country for a particular period of time so as time goes by you you can keep on renewing your gnib and all but when i came in as a student i had to apply for the gnib of one year yeah so i went to some documents you can check online for on their website you see all the documents you'll be needing like so you have to call them you have to book for a date they'll give you a date and you would go and when you go for your um they'll check your documents you pay um a fee of about 300 euro yes so when you do all that they'll give you after a few days mine came in like after five days my card so it's a gnid card so they would send you the card and that is what you'll be able to work with without your gnib you cannot work in ireland as a student you're allowed to work 20 hours and if you're coming in for work let's say for work yes you're allowed to work 40 hours if you're not a student you're allowed to work 40 hours and as a student you can work 20 hours during like when your school is on session and during maybe the summer break yes or the winter break you can work 40 hours as a student so without your gnib when you come in you cannot start working even if you start to work you cannot even start working without your gnib you can even start working without your pps number because um but without your gnib you cannot start working and i forgot to mention if you don't have a pps number and you start working they would be deducting 40 percent of your income for emergency tax until you submit your pps number and register it on revenue if not 40 percent will be deducted from your income if you don't submit your pps and number so that's that about the pps and gnib you have to register for your gnib because you will not be able to work you will not be able to do anything if you don't have like your gnib card and all so that's that that's the fourth thing then the fifth thing you should do when you come to ireland is open a bank account yes you have to open a bank account because your nigerian bank cannot function here <laughs> yes you can't actually you have to open a bank account and um it, it takes some days and some series of confirmation for, for you to get like open an account here so the best thing you do when you get here just open a revolut account and with that you can be transacting for the meantime pending while you open like a bank account in dublin ireland or anywhere you are in ireland yes so those five things i mentioned are very important there are things you should do once you get to ireland because like you, you just have to do it so let me just go over them again number one you have to get a phone number like an irish number number two you have to get a leap card for transportation number three you have to get your pps number that's your tax number number four you have to get your gnid card yes you have to register with the immigration that okay yes you're here for this particular period of time and this is what you're doing here for this particular period of time even if you're coming through, through work and it's not even through school you have to get all these things then the fifth one is an account you have to open a proper account in ireland yes so those five things are very important that you do them once you get to dublin ireland so with that i've come to the end of the section <laughs> stay in touch because i'll be bringing more updates and more things you need to know about dublin and other interesting content so please do well to like this video thank you so much for watching up to the end thank you i appreciate you please subscribe like turn on the notification bell and leave a comment let me know what you think and if there's anything you want me to talk about you can drop it there and i would make a video on it so see my next video bye